Hi everybody, welcome back to another YouTube tutorial. My name is Susan Name here and today I will be taking a look on adding textures to materials which actually play video files. Now what's great about this is it actually can play audio as well. So in this example you can actually hear my voice reverberating around the scene right now, which is super cool. Plus you can also make it work with distance, so how far you walk away from the texture, it sounds a bit different. It's a really cool concept. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So here we have a basic scene in the first person blueprint template. Um, you can see here I actually made a CRT model, um, very low poly, um, uh, but it's, it's just a good testing, it's just for testing purposes, okay, don't, don't hate me because of my modeling work, <laughs> anyway, uh, something special about this is that the screen part of this is a different material, while the rest of the frame is another material. Uh, that's actually very important because you want the screen to be a singular own material. Uh, if you don't have a screen or a CRT like this, don't worry, you can project this texture onto a plane, a cube, you can project it onto anything. That's the great part of this. Anyway. The first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to import the video. Now here I have a video. It's video to test is its name. Now I could go in and I drag this in. But that is not a good idea because of the way Unreal Engine actually works. So if you copy it directly from any other folder than a specific folder, then it will actually not include it with the final package, the build. So that means if it isn't in the certain Unreal Engine folder, it won't actually be shown to the player. So what is that certain Unreal Engine folder? We actually have to create it. So you have to go to your content browser, and in your content folder, you want to right click and create a new folder. The folder name should be movies. Now, it should be specifically with an upper M, uh, uppercase M. It should be spelled exactly like this. Now, if I go ahead and go to my Unreal Engine projects, uh, that's in this PC document, Unreal Engine projects, so Unreal projects. Then I want to go to the current project, which is television. And then I want to go to the content folder and then to the movies folder we created. Now you want to go and go to your video file. Just want to go drag that over here. But it's important to uh, not necessarily move it. You might want to hold control in while you're dragging over. So you copy it over. Awesome. Now you can close the videos uh, folder, but you shouldn't close this movies folder. Because if I go into Unreal Engine and open movies, you'll see, well, <laughs> the video file isn't there. It's because um, we still have to link it. So the way you link it is you just go ahead, drag this over there. And if I go here, you'll see video to test. Yeah, now it's there. Uh, now if I open it, you'll see uh, this file path shows no error. If we just dragged it over, it would show an error. So this is why we're, we've created the movies folder, so we actually let the player see the video. Now, we actually have to create a media player as well. So we have to go to our content browser, right click, go to media, media player. And this additional assets to create and link to the media player, you want to check this video output media texture asset. Now this media player, we'll just go and name it video to test. You want to enter. Now you'll see it created another full uh, file, which is called uh, video to test media player underscore video, and it's a media texture. Now how this works is this video is actually being played by the media player, which sends it over to the texture, so it could be applied to material. So, let's set this up. 
first thing you want to do is you want to go to your video to test media player. Now, by default, it actually doesn't have any media. But in the bottom left, you'll see all the videos in your project. And so if I just go double click on this, Hi, hit everybody. Well, pause, and hit save. Now this is the singular video file. You could create playlists and set that up, but that's out of the scope of this video. Just working with singular videos here. So if you selected this, double click, and it's showing up here, you can just hit save again. You can just close that up. Perfect. Now if we go to the video to test media texture. You'll see now it actually displays here. You also see here at media, media player. This is the media player. So if you didn't actually tick the texture option, this is how you can still link it up. So that's awesome. But now we actually have to make the texture or the video play with sound. So let's go to our content browser and go to the content folder, right click, open blueprint class, and we're gonna create a new actor. We'll name this BP. TV. Uh, you can name it anything. It doesn't necessarily even have to be a television. You can make normal screens or stuff like that. But in this case, I'm making a television. So double click that. And the first thing I'm going to do is going to add a static mesh. Uh, the static mesh will be the TV I quickly modeled. <laughs> Uh, yeah, now you also want to add another component. So if you So if you actually want audio, you just want to Get a media sound. So if you actually want audio, you want this media sound component This will actually be the thing that plays the sound of the video. I'm gonna drag this out to the front while we're here, you can go to the right side and actually set a few settings here. So allow spatialization, yes, uh, override uh, attenuation. Now you can actually um, change the settings of this. Now um, here at this volume, you can actually change the inner radius, so where the volume is about max, and then the fall off distance. Uh, but you can also set up stuff like occlusion, which means that if the player can't actually isn't in the line of the audio, he can't hear it. So if he's behind the wall, he can't really hear it that well. Uh, so you can just adjust around with the settings. There's a lot, and I'm not really going to get into it, because this video would be way too long. So compile and save. We're going to go to our event graph. Now I'm going to put the play media... At begin play, you can put on anything you want. So the first thing you want to do is add a new variable. This will be media player. And the variable type, that will be uh, media player. Object types, media player, object reference. I just want to drag that out and get it. Uh, now we're going to compile and save this. Now this media player here. You can go ahead and set this already, so you can go uh, video to test media player. But the best way to handle this is actually to go here to media player variable and click on this half closed eye, or this closed eye, click on it. Now, what happens is in the editor you can actually set up each individual TV to display a different media player. Which means you don't have to make multiple blueprints, you can have a singular blueprint which is customizable. Very handy. So this media player, we're just going to go ahead and play. Uh, not play, uh, you want to use open source. Now this... You just want to hook up the execution pin. Now this media source, we're actually going to go ahead and promote it to the video. Uh, uh, to a variable, why did I say video? Anyway, we just want to go to this media source variable again. Just want to click open the eye, so it's a public variable. Compile and save. Now this is cool and all. Uh, this means now that if we set up these variables, it will actually play the video. But there's still not going to be any sound. So, we're going to have to take this media sound, drag it out, and actually uh, set media player. 
also hook up the execution pen and the new media player should be this media player so you can just get that and boom that means uh, this code is very reusable so uh, each TV can display a different fin by default that's already super cool now um, if I go ahead and try to play this. So this is a fake TV. It's just a mesh alone. So we're just gonna drag in our BP TV. Now if I go ahead and actually try to play this, you'll see uh, nothing goes on, right? Uh, that's weird, right? That's shouldn't there be something going on? Well, the thing is, uh, there still isn't a media texture. So uh, the fin actually displays it, that's why we set up the two material fin rights, the screen and the material. So you just want to go to your movies, and the best or the easiest way to do that would just be to drag on to that. But the problem is, because it's a BP, you can't really do that anymore, so you just want to go create a new material and this will be m underscore video to test mat yeah mat okay so video to test now if you open it up you just want to go to the base color drag off that and create a new texture sample now the texture texture we'll use for the texture sample will be r video to test media player video now you can just save that and uh, now it's gonna compile now um, i'm actually gonna show you how to avoid a lot of compiling while we're setting up this material uh, using uh, material instances but for now we're just trying to get the video to actually display so now that, that material's set up you just want to go ahead go to your bp underscore tv go to static mesh and set the material of the screen to the new video to test mat so you'll see uh, it actually changed so if i hit play you'll just have to wait for uh Oh yeah, wait, I forgot something. Uh, because we made our code modular, you actually have to go here. So that's BPTV, this video to test media player. You can actually set up in the editor what each TV displays. So you have to click on your BP underscore TV, go to media source and make it play the video to test. Now you can save that and hit play and you'll see Welcome back to another YouTube tutorial. My name is Sister. My video Today actually we'll plays be taking a look it, and it's really cool. But there's, there's a few problems. Which actually play video files. Um, now the what's great about problem this is it actually can play audio is because, as well. Uh, is the fact that the video actually doesn't uh, reflect or bounce light. So it doesn't emit light. So we want to fix that. Uh, so let's go do that quickly just want to open the M video to test material and the thing you want to do is you want to go to the emissive color uh, on your video to test map drag off of that and create a new multiply node now you want to have the A value be the RGB value of the texture sample now the reason for that is it pulls the color information uh, but it also mixes it with an emission value. So that means that it will actually reflect the color of the video. So more accurate light. Uh, so super cool. Anyway, um, this B, we're actually going to drag off and create a new scalar parameter. And that's important to make it a scalar or not necessarily a scalar, more parameter because we're going to be using the material instances. And you'll see why we're doing that pretty soon. Uh, so you just want to make this emission amount. And the slider max, I would recommend you put that at maybe two. Uh, the slider minimum should be zero. 
and I would set the default value at 1. Awesome. Now also another important thing to note is my TV actually was um, already UV wrapped pretty well, but maybe yours wasn't and your video is actually uh, rotated. Now I'll actually show you how to uh, fix that by going here to your UVs. You just want to go to your texture sample, drag off the UVs, and you just want to uh, make a rotate, yeah, coordinates, under coordinates, you want to pick up, oh no, you don't want to do that. Just want to go get a custom rotator under miscellaneous. Now this UV, uh, you just want to just drag off that and create a new texture coordinate. Uh, that's because we actually want this UV value to be zero. Uh, so this won't actually really do much. Uh, actually, no, we want the value to be one by one, which is uh, what the texture chord does. Uh, now this rotation center is uh, the center point of the rotation. Now by default, it's 50-50, uh, which means it's right in the middle of the texture, which is what we want. And now this rotation angle, we're actually going to go and again promote this to a parameter, a scale parameter. And this will actually be the rotation angle. And the slider max should be 1. And yeah, the other default value should be 0 because I'm going to show you something very cool. And I can just hit save and let it compile. Um, and this is the reason why we create all those per parameters is always, we're going to skip now, uh, we're going to skip all the shader com uh, com compilation. <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm really bad today. Anyway, uh, you just go ahead, uh, now you'll see, well, now it actually ref uh, costs light hey, welcome onto back the to environment, the so you'll my see um, today we'll be my face is actually adding reflecting light to onto material, the table, which, which is super cool, video. and uh, of now course there's fall off and it actually everything. Can play audio. Now why did we set up all these parameters? So um, what I usually like to do is when I create a material, I like to create an instance of a material. So you want to go to the material, right click it, and create a material instance. Now you can just click off, uh, open that up. And what's special for, uh, about a material instance? What's awesome is I can actually go ahead, click on or tick the submission amount and change it. And it will actually change in real time. And if I hit save, it saves instantly. It skips compilation entirely, which is really handy. Now I want my value to be one. Now here you can go to rotation angle and you can rotate it to fit your screen. Uh, because mine fits, I'm not going to actually rotate it. But it's just important to know 0 to 1 is 0 to 360 degrees rotation. Now that's perfect, that's already set up. Now before I go, I'm actually just going to um, make the audio uh, distance a bit better on this. Oh yeah, wait, we actually want to apply the custom instance material. So just want to go to your static base in the VPTV. Just want to go to the video to test material and just use the instance material. Now you can just save that. Um, and what's awesome about this is I can easily just go drag in a new TV. And all the only thing you have to do is put on a new media player and a media source and it will actually play a different video. And you can just go to the static mesh, set the material to a new material instance. Uh, so I'm just going to set that here. And now they're both going to play my video. And that's super cool. Uh, but that's really all for now. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like the content, please subscribe. Hit like if you like the video. Hit dislike if you did. And see you guys next time. Good night, everybody.